Greetings and welcome to Horror on the Orient Express, a multi-episode campaign by the Old Ways Podcast. First, we'd like to thank you for listening. Your support means a great deal to the cast and I, and we hope you enjoy the episodes in this series. Before we get to the prequel episodes where you meet the investigators, it's important that we get a few things clear. This is a game played for the enjoyment by the players and for the entertainment of those listening. It is in no way a historical lesson. While we love history and reading about the events that transpired, it's important to remind everyone that this is a work of fiction. There is no intent to project this as a guide to the era, as elements of the period that we use might not be historically accurate. Secondly, there are many different cultures and nations the investigators and I will interact with, which we are not from. Thus, we may not always nail the pronunciation of names, locations, and people. Trust that we mean no disrespect by this, and are simply working with our knowledge of those names as we encounter them. Chaosium's legendary European campaign is one many have taken part in. Our story will include unique experiences, even for someone who may have already experienced horror on the Orient Express elsewhere. It is our hope to give our listeners an escape into a world of dangerous intrigue and potentially explosive pulp action. Finally, I hope this story is something you look forward to twice a month. The players and I have enjoyed the journey so far, and I know there is so much more to come. If you'd like to join in on the fun personally and move the hand of fate for or against one of our investigators, I encourage you to stop by our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the old ways podcast. There, you can lend your support as we craft an unforgettable story. One last important historical note. While the game takes place at the beginning of 1925, a key portion of Mustafa Kemal's reforms in what is now recognized as Turkey have not yet been put into motion, as the transformative work he did is still ongoing. The Greco-Turkish War is over, and the troops have receded, but politics have been mired in slowdowns as the populace struggles under divided loyalties and family lines. For this and other reasons to be revealed in our story, the city of Constantinople retains its name. Now, on to the show.